Hello, Panthers. It has been so good to see so many of you this week. This was our first week returning back to campus. Hybrid instruction began. We were able to see cohort A Monday and Tuesday. And I can't wait because Thursday and Friday, cohort B will be here. And I've been seeing all of our cohort C students online as well. So it has been great having you back. I can't wait to see you all back very soon. In the meantime, I have a special story. We are still celebrating Women's History Month. And so today I have a story and it's called Lucia the Luchadora. And I wanna tell you a little bit about what a luchadora is. So this is written by Cynthia Leonor Garza, illustrated by Alyssa Bermudez. And I'm gonna give you a little background. Luchadores are larger than life stars of the world of Lucha Libre, the acrobatic and theatrical style of wrestling popularized in Mexico. Many wear masks to help conceal or hide their true identities, although they can be unmasked by their opponent if they lose a match. Luchadores fall into two camps, the heroes and the villains, or técnicos and rudos, and they fight as individuals or in teams in the ring. Often lucha matches follow lively storylines filled with twists and turns, but the stories of good versus evil don't end in the ring. The adventures of some of the most popular luchadores have leapt beyond the ring into comic books, films, and even the streets where luchadores have transformed themselves into real life masked heroes fighting for social justice. Luchadores have fought and advocated for many causes, including animals, the environment, and the rights of poor people, children, women, and those living in substandard housing. On the flip side, women have long fought and are still fighting for their place in the wrestling ring in the largely male-dominated sport. Over the past few decades, many fierce luchadoras have paved a dazzling path into the world of lucha libre and have claimed their spots among the stars. So I picked this book today that I'm going to share because oftentimes we have these like gender stereotypes and, and that's when um, we grow up feeling like, oh, because we're, because we're women, because we're girls, we can't do certain things that others might be able to do. And the same thing with men and boys. Sometimes they grow up hearing things and seeing things on TV that makes them feel like, oh, I can never do that because I'm a boy, I'm a man. And is that right? No. And so what we wanna do is we've been talking a lot about equality and equity. And our character trait this month is all about fairness. And so what we wanna do is we wanna look and see how Lucia takes that thought that we've been practicing this month and how what does she do in order to stand up to that in order to say, I don't need anyone else telling me what I'm allowed to be when I grow up. Here's what I'm gonna do. And so this is what she chooses to do and we're gonna hear all about it right now. And I want you, as we're doing this, I want you to look at the illustrations because we know that the author tells the story through words, but the illustrator tells the story through pictures. And so take a look at how beautiful the artwork is, the illustrations as we go through and learn about Lucia, the luchadora. I zip through the playground in my red cape. I go pow, I go bam. The boys zoom by with their own capes fluttering behind them. They go boom, they go crash. The boys try to jump off the monkey bars, but no one can do a high flying leap from the top like I can. I dive, I spin, I nail my landing every single time. I dash up the dark swirly slide that no one dares go near, but the boys pay no attention to me. They dart off when I try to play with them. Mighty Mick yells out to me, girls can't be superheroes. Ninja Nick, his twin adds, girls are just made of sugar and spice and everything nice. I don't feel very nice and sweet at that moment. I feel mad, spicy mad, kapow kind of mad. Abuela watches me from a nearby bench. When I flop down next to her, 
Abu leans over and whispers a secret. We hatch a plan. That night, Abu gives me an old box. There's a shiny satin cape inside and a very special silver mask. Abu tells me that when she was a little girl, she was a special kind of superhero, a luchadora. I don't know what a luchadora is. Abu tells me a luchadora is more than a masked wrestler with swift moves, more than just a superhero with a slick style. A luchadora is agile. She moves and thinks quickly. A luchadora has moxie. She is brave and full of heart and isn't afraid to fight for what is right. Most importantly, a luchadora never reveals her true identity. Abu tells me the greatest luchador of all time, El Santo, wore a silver mask too and never ever took it off. I slip the silver mask over my head and when I look at myself in the mirror, I feel a bolt run through me. With that mask, you can become anything you dream of being, Abu says. On the playground the next day, the boys zoom by in their capes. They go wham, they go whomp. I charge through the crowd. My new silver and white cape, a blinding flash behind me. I catch everyone's eyes. Everyone wants to know who is wearing the silver mask. I'm a luchadora with a secret identity. With my silver mask, I can become anything I dream of being. I stand on the top of my monkey bars, ready to do my high flying leap. I dive, I spin, I nail my landing like always. This time, everyone notices. The crowd goes wild, the boys go boom. They try to crash into me, but I'm lightning fast and no one can catch me. No one can wow like I can. I'm the best kind of superhero. I'm Lucia the Luchadora. Before long, I see lots of other Lucha Libre masks on the playground. One day I spot a crusader in a pink mask with red glittery hearts, a girl, another luchadora. I can't wait to play with my new pink crusader. But before I can run over, I hear something familiar. Girls can't be superheroes. Girls are just made of sugar and spice and everything nice. Oh, I feel spicy again, spicy mad, kapow kind of mad. Just then the dark swirly slide goes clang. Everyone stops and stares, bang, jingle, screech. Everyone shrinks, but I move closer. I hear a yip and a yelp and a peep that sounds like help. I feel the tick tock in my chest, but I don't flinch. I dash through the crowd and up the ladder. Whee! Moments later, I swoop down the slide with little Coco in my lap. Bravo, everyone cheers. My heart swells, but then I spot the pink crusader in the crowd. Why does she look so sad? I remember Abu's words. A real luchadora must fight for what is right. My heart doesn't feel very full anymore. I know what I have to do. I pull off my mask. Zap! Everyone is thunderstruck. My true identity is revealed. I am no longer a luchadora. Then something unexpected happens. Clap, clap, clap. Then something spectacular happens. Luchadora is everywhere, hidden in plain sight. Little Coco jumps off my lap and races through the crowd. I bolt after him in a flash and all the boys and girls start to chase me. But I'm lightning fast and no one can catch me. No one is as dazzling or daring as I am. I climb up the monkey bars, I dive, I spin, and when I strike the ground, a charge runs through the ground. I am still the best kind of superhero. I am Lucia, the luchadora. 
mask or no mask? And look at that. And so we talked about luchadoras and how no matter what people tell you that you can or can't be, you can be anything that you wanna be, right? This goes for boys and girls. And so today, this was a special story that stood out to me as one that is really special to talk about during our Women's History Month because Lucia and so many others have been told what they can or can't do. And Lucia showed us today that you can do whatever you wanna do, whatever you dream to be. And so I hope you enjoyed today's story. I have a few more stories that we'll continue to share. Next week is spring break, but I bet I might still have a story for you that I'll post. So be sure to check out our YouTube channel because I'll release it there. And in the meantime, I want you to be thinking about what is it that you want to do when you grow up? What are you dreaming to be? What's your plan? How are you going to get there? You can do it. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, Panthers.